You're listening to the Inquisitive Wren Podcast, the show that brings you philosophical ponderings of your life from a bird's eye view. Now, here's your host, Shah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Inquisitive Wren Podcast. I'm Shah, your host. And today we are celebrating the one year podcast anniversary of the Inquisitive Wren Podcast. So happy birthday to the podcast. I cannot believe it's been that long. We are one year old. We are a baby still, but we were very much a baby still. But I am so, so pleased that I've been able to do the podcast. And so to celebrate the one year anniversary of the podcast, I have decided to upload for you today some outtakes. Uh, they, it could be called a blooper roll, but it's definitely outtakes and bits and pieces that uh, may give you some insight into the recording, how it all goes, how I prepare, uh, and and all of that stuff. Uh, there's just a few bits in there, but um, I hope you do enjoy it. Like many, I found that uh, during lockdown, uh, you know, some people found that they had more time on their hands, but I actually found that I had probably the same amount of time on my hands. However, my creativity was heightened. So I would draw more, listen to more music. I would craft or journal or write. There was a lot that I was doing creatively and it was just flowing through me. It was wonderful. And so I prioritized my time and I thought, why don't I try and do, do it in some way that involves others? So during lockdown, like all of us, or many of us, shall we say, we connected or stay connected or connected more with the people we love and know. And for me, a lot of those people are across the globe. And so when we were having our Skypes or Zoom, Zoom came in, you know, really hot and heavy during lockdown, but we were using Skype a lot then and FaceTiming, and I was thinking, wow, all my friends are very, very creative. They're just creative people. I think I always knew that, but it was, it just seemed to be right in my face at that time. And so I thought, well, why don't I talk to them? Why don't I interview them as lots? I always have lots of questions for them. So why don't I tape it? And uh, a lot of them agreed to do it. And so the podcast was born. And some people have these very creative careers I certainly was a creative person in my work early on and um, you know psychology counseling is a science as such uh, but it, it can be creative as well there's lots of different things this is why I was drawn to hypnotherapy in many ways because it really did allow my creativity to move forward I found that hypnotherapy was excellent in that way because I could create stories, healing stories, but I could also use the language that I've learned to use for the unconscious mind to help people make change. A lot of work goes on behind the scenes in planning a podcast, that's for sure. And particularly if you're doing interviewing podcasts. So even if you are just doing lone podcasts or solo podcasts, which I do upload now and then, there is still planning. You know, I, I need to know what I'm doing, a script, I take notes. You've seen in some of my videos, I'm looking at notes. It's not because I don't know what I'm talking about, it's to keep me on track. And I've always taken notes and I find it amazing. So a lot goes on behind the scenes. And in particular, when I am sourcing guests or trying to find people for a particular topic. So I have to approach them and see if they want to do the interview. There may be time differences. Uh, I had an interview in New Zealand, which was 13 hours ahead. And so we have to work around each other. But overall, it's been amazing. And I think it's because my intention was to help educate, but also entertain and help spark other people's creativity. As much as we talk about philosophy and psychology, we also talk about creativity, which includes spirituality. I believe that spirituality is a part of our creativity as well. Overall, it's been an absolute pleasure and joy to put together the podcast. 
and to put it out for people to hear and see. And at first, I was just uploading on Apple uh, Apple Podcast, and you know, Spotify goes through all the platforms. And then someone said to me, "You should really post these on YouTube, record them, do a Zoom." And so I found a um, an app or a program uh, to do, because I didn't trust Zoom because it was cutting out and things like that. But but the program had lots of bugs. And one interview with Anne Cecile, our very first interview, it was just the bugs were just awful and there was no way I could slice it together but I've kept that interview up because some bits you can hear but some bits we're talking over each other and all that we didn't during the interview but it was it was the program and I don't want to blast them or anything but you have to be aware of programs you use I have found zoom to be the best now YouTube is a whole different animal and I have to say some people don't want to be on YouTube. Some of my friends have said, no, I only want to, if we do this, it just it can just be audio or whatever. And I'm happy to do that. I don't blame, you know, sometimes I think people see the negativity on YouTube and they become frightened of receiving it. But, you know, let's keep the view and intention the way it is. Social media can be difficult to navigate. However, it is a great way to connect with people. And that's my only approach for the podcast is to connect. And that's why we have an Instagram page and all the other socials as well. Now, also the YouTube algorithm, I don't believe anyone has it sussed. I know that there are lots of videos out there, but None of them would ever, I mean, I haven't watched a lot, I've watched a few. And what made me watch one uh, video was because I have a YouTube channel for, it's the Seer's Light, it's for spiritual readings. I wanted to offer people free psychic readings. And so I started it. I was very aware that it's very saturate, saturated on YouTube. There are so many videos and a lot of those people have been around for ages and a lot of them have millions of subscribers but i didn't mind i just wanted to provide free readings for people and so it was very slow on the uptake i would post once a week doing weekly readings very slow and then all of a sudden i posted one video and it just skyrocketed when i say skyrocketed for me it was a skyrocket but i literally saw the the subscribers go from something like 20 or something to 300 overnight literally overnight i would look on my phone and i could see the additions to subscribers and i there's no rhyme or reason to that because then it stopped then it just stopped i have posted similar videos and not the same traction and so I don't believe anyone knows the algorithm. It just happens the way it happens. I hadn't done anything differently. I had uploaded the exact same tags and the exact same uh, everything. So I didn't do anything differently. The subject line, I covered it before, but I just think it just depends. So the same, a similar thing, not the same, but a similar things happen with this, with the Inquisitive Wren, whereby they had a few few um, subscribers and then all of a sudden it started to skyrocket. Now, I don't know, I think people just find it and they subscribe because they don't want to lose what they found. Now, I've done that. You might come across a video on YouTube for somebody you never knew about and the topic is interesting. So you think, oh, okay, let me just subscribe to that just so I don't miss anything but they don't engage so there's no comments there's no so very interesting and it was the same on the Sears life i would get one or two comments but the subscribers kept increasing so i didn't mind because i was getting the subscribers however i've come to learn that it is important to leave comments if you can so i'm asking i'm putting out a call to you all if you've been with me for the year please leave me a happy birthday or a comment or something 
just a just a brown heart the um the colors of the logo are earthy so brown green i wish there was like a a neutral heart there's a white one but they really need like a beigey one for the emojis and I'm still waiting for that big crystal. There's a crystal ball emoji, but not an actual crystal. I know there's a diamond one, but I'm talking about maybe a crystal, like maybe a a, a, um, a crystal, a clear quartz cluster or something for a an emoji. That would be so, so nice, so cool. So I say all that to say we are on YouTube. So we started out on Apple and we're now on YouTube so that you can see the interviews. And my guests are amazing. So I, I just want you to have a look. If you've listened to the interview, that's fine. That's wonderful. A lot of us do listen. I listen to podcasts. I don't have time sometimes to watch it. I can listen to it in the background, perhaps when I'm driving or I'm, you know, something, doing something else, maybe cleaning, something, um, gardening perhaps, although not so much. But taking walks, that's another thing. So it's nice and you don't always want to watch a screen. But if you do have time, have a little look. The videos are very interesting and good, I believe. I'm very grateful for every single interview that I've been able to do. In terms of guests, they are fantastic. They're, they have been fantastic. Some of them I know, some of them I'm, I've met for the very first time because of what they do. And uh, also I want to say we are still, we are now on TikTok. And to give you a contrast, one of the snippet, one minute long, got 800 views on TikTok. Much more than any video I've ever had get on YouTube or even Instagram. So there is no rhyme or rhythm to this whole algorithm thing. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't even worry about videos about, oh, the, the YouTube algorithm. They don't know. They don't know. It's a computer. It's, there's a glitch. There's something in it that you won't know about. I, I like to compare it to uh, when, you know, people are very taken aback by psychic gifts. There's something there. You don't know what it what it all is, but there is something there. You don't know how it works specifically, but there's something there that causes something, causes a shift, a change, and I think that's what the algorithm's all about. My focus is not the algorithm. However, I do have to keep an eye on views, listens, downloads, and although I will carry on and keep going, we do need to see that you're watching, that you're listening. Of course, the, the, the podcast is not monetized at this time. I could look into it, but at this time, I'm not really, it's not a priority. I, I don't mind just putting out free content for now. And also, I haven't charged for subscription. So, guys... To subscribe to the Apple Podcast, it's free. There is no charge or anything. Uh, and also to YouTube. I know some people charge for all these things, but I don't. It's free. So it costs you nothing. Just click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And on Apple Podcast, please leave me a review. Even if it's just a thumbs up. Uh, great job. Or uh, love the guests. Uh, it doesn't even have to be about me. It can be about the topic matter. Great topic matter. Why don't you talk about this? Why don't you talk about that? Give me suggestions. But engagement is helpful on podcasts. Now, having said that, I will say I am very aware that my podcast is a niche. It has its own niche. It's not one of those um, quick gaining podcasts like gossip channels or, you know, um, how do you say, uh, reality TV and all that. It's not what I'm interested in and therefore that's not what I talk about. So it will be psychology, philosophy, creativity, spirituality, all those things. And if you're interested in that, please subscribe to Apple and send the link to the, the 
uh, YouTube channel to friends, tweet it on Twitter, let me know, tag me in, I will, you know, tag you back or shout it out and re retweet it. We are unsure whether we'll continue with some of the social platforms, uh, but for now we're okay to carry on. Again, there's a lot of work that goes into this. I do fully enjoy the camaraderie, but also the exchange, the interview exchange. But I will continue to upload single podcasts, you know, me talking about, you know, therapeutic modalities, spirituality, the mediumship that the mediumship that I do, uh, if I'm having an event, I will let you know. But all those things uh, will continue, but one year, now, I'm very aware there's um, 21 episodes, so uh, there's 52 weeks in a year, so there hasn't been an episode every week. That wasn't my intention. I wasn't sure how often I could post, but once a month was quite comfortable for me and there have been months where I've had more than that it just depends also we do upload to Apple Podcasts first so if you want to see you know be privy to the podcast before you two always go to Apple Apple will always have the podcast first it will always be on Spotify Apple Stitcher all those there's so many different podcast platforms whatever you listen to it's fine the podcast is on it and then a week later i usually post the youtube video all notifications will be on instagram as well so if you follow us on instagram and the same thing happened there with subscribers people or follows 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 people would uh, yeah, I did have some, but then all of a sudden, I started getting a lot of followers on Instagram. Very, very happy about it, very pleased. And a lot of people are liking the post, so I appreciate that. So, really, there's no complaints. I just need you all to engage. So, like, comment, subscribe, but specifically on Apple Podcasts, leave a review. And... I'm planning next year's uh, episodes. I'm planning the season, season two, and that will be coming in September, starting late September. And there, I've got some really interesting, I believe they're interesting topics and people coming on the show. So I do hope you stick around. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to talk about or discuss. I'm happy to do it, if, you know, depending, <laughs> depending. One of the things I don't do, and I have had people reach out to me and ask me, well, can you make a video about this that just happened or this person that was, you know, it's always been the two emails I've gotten have been about scandals. You know, something's happened to someone or with someone and they want me to talk about it. I did get a request to do a reading about someone. Now, it's not something I would do, only because I feel it's invasive. It's invasive on the person's privacy. So, I don't want to look into people without their permission as such. And so, that's, that's more down the gossip uh, reality TV aspect. And I know for some of you, you think, oh, boring, <laughs> she won't do it. But I'm afraid it's just not me. It's just not me, I'm afraid. But who knows, perhaps it'll change, you know, because I'm never saying that I'm above it or, you know, you never know what you might do. And I don't know, perhaps I would. As I sit here today, I cannot see myself doing it. But you never know, maybe something very interesting will spark my uh, interest and I might do it uh, but for now i'm sticking to my lane and i know it's a niche lane there are other psychology and philosophy and counseling and spirituality podcasts out there uh, however i know that because i'm not known it makes it niche and also because some of my guests not all aren't known as such in the public eye it makes it a bit niche but we do talk about very interesting topics i believe so 
I'm saying all that to say thank you so much to everyone who's listened, followed, subscribed so far. I want to thank all of my guests as they have appeared on the show. Anne Cecile Veal, Debbie Cotton, Jane Teresa Anderson, Sierra Truong, Kelly Jo Mentor, Natalie Ford, Donna McGeorge, Katerina Militic, Liz Winter, Ruth Phillips, Zondra Hawes, and Bob Ginsburg. Your contribution to this podcast is very much appreciated, and it was such a pleasure to interview you all. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet to the podcast, please do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all streaming platforms. It's free. And of course, if you'd like to be a guest on the podcast, just send me an email. All the details are in the show notes. And let's have a chat. Let's talk. See if it's see if it's something that we can do. Thank you once again. Happy one year anniversary to the Inquisitive Run podcast. I hope that you're all having a great summer. And I will see you soon. But I never check. Well, I know you're so busy because you have your own business too. Mm. And I've been so busy and it's so, it's just about connecting. And this is like our yeah. third time trying this. So I know, but third, third time's time a charm. The exact, th that's it. <laughs> third time's a charm. Brilliant. Um, sorry, well, the that cat. looks really nice. The cat is out and I'm just trying to wait till she comes in. Okay. So she <laughs> should we, um, well, let me ask you a couple of questions before we start like okay. actually doing something formal. So when I want to have a drink of water or something, is that, should that be, is that going to be in the final or do we, should, should I say, can we stop for one sec? How do we do yeah, that? Just tell me, just tell me, and then I'll know where to edit. We want to avoid lots of editing though. I get it. I know this you is, don't want to probably do anything. Yeah, this is a hobby. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's hobby. It's a hard, it's a, that's not it, easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's fun so far. It's fun. But, Shaw, um, we're, we, you know, we haven't aged a, a bit. It's still like we're in high school. Keep saying, we're, we're right out of high school. Yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> You're running it now. Okay. you just like old days. Oh. Just yeah, like well, old days. You're running that, things. <laughs> that's it. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Are we good? Is this like, <laughs> tell me when, tell me when we're rolling, just so okay, I know. I that's that's going to, you know, like rolling action. Okay, my, green, my green screen acts up a little bit, but we're just going to have to go I want to try with something it. really quickly. Okay, I was just going to say we're rolling. Okay. <laughs> so how do I do this? Am I looking at you? Yeah, you, you're, I well, we, it does. I know what you mean. It looks like we're not looking at each other, but yeah. I, I'm looking at you. You're looking. <laughs> Shut so, up. Kelly, thank Hold you. On. Let, let me this. turn my damn TV off. Hold on. <laughs> oh. What's happening? Am I recording? Okay. Whoop, yeah. Whoop. my screen screen won't be too I think if I stay in this position I'm okay <laughs> you'll just have to introduce that you're looking a little magical yes, hello I look, <laughs> <laughs> I look like a robot oh, hello welcome to the <laughs> okay. Oh, my green screen. okay I do try sometimes without the green screen but if we you were there and you push it all the way forward does it help like, is it all the way forward on that's this side? That's good. No, no. It, oh, oh, I think my that's goodness. why. How do you better. know this? Oh, my God, Sandra, you're a magician. <laughs> yeah, it's when it's back and forth. They can't tell the contrast if you just pull the hair forward. Mm -hmm.
Hello everyone, welcome back. Absolutely not. So I don't know. Don't like it. What do you think about the lights? This you look, or this? Uh, let's see. That that's nice. That's very that natural thing. and yeah, lovely. That's nice. Yeah. And oh, okay. Let me raise my. Hand. So maybe if you look like really tall and you're like really small. I know it's ridiculous. It's only the chair I need to raise. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's better. Okay. Oh gosh. I feel Tell me. Uh, no problem. But yeah, I'm new to it, so I I I have to find my stride, like everyone so i'm um, switched off that as well goodness me oh all this yes technology all no this i'm technology. glad i'm glad you said that Let it's, me it's switch just mine. so annoying i mean it's it's it, you know i had like you know i thought about that for for a while actually i had some weird 